All right, guys, we're gonna start with some stretching series. So I know a lot of you guys uh, have been asking about different stretches. So I I'm gonna go over some of my favorite, just kind of, I'll do different stretching routines that I do. This is one of my all time favorite stretching routines, especially for like your lower body, uh, your hip adductors, your hip abductors, um, your quads, your calves, your hamstrings. So just making sure, especially with our legs, we're kicking a lot. You wanna make sure that your legs are really loose. Um, starting to get flexibility. You know, the one thing I will tell you definitely with flexibility, if you want to kick high, there's two parts. You need your flexibility, but you also need your hip power. So you gotta, you gotta work on your hip flexors and really work on the strength in there. Um, so this is just half the equation. Also, you're gonna find some days that you can go really, really low and you're like, man, this is awesome. I'm gonna, I, I have a lot of good flexibility. And then the very next day, you like regress by like two or three inches. Don't, don't take that, you know, don't be too discouraged by that, it happens. Just stay consistent with it. The more consistency you can find with your stretching, the more benefits you're gonna get out of it. You know, it's gonna help you with your injuries. It's gonna make sure you stay loose. You're not gonna, you're not gonna feel as you know, tired or as stiff all the time, okay? So as much as you can stretch, make sure you do. So one of the first ones I always like to do is I just start in our middle stance or horse stance. I actually bow my toes and then I'm gonna press my forearms on my knees. Try to get your hips lower than your knees and then I just press out. Now, depending on your flexibility, you might be able to press more than others. I like to rock a little bit. Sometimes I'll feel this in my hip. Like right now, I feel this more in my right hip. So I know that's gonna be a little tight for me. And that's one of the things with stretching is you wanna really make sure that you're kind of feeling your body. You know, you might have to adjust your position a little bit to feel it a little bit more. And that's okay, you know, that's what you wanna do. So from here, once you're feeling that really good, I like to just take one knee, I'm gonna put it on the ground, put my other leg out a little bit, and I'm gonna push for it. So I'm stretching out this hand, uh, this quad, and then I'm also stretching out in here to kind of my hamstring and up near my groin area. So I'm just gonna push. You wanna make sure you're pushing that hip forward. You can lean back a little bit more and that'll isolate more your quad and, and the ligaments and tendons up in here. And then from here, once you're feeling really comfortable with that, again, when you're stretching, hold it as long as you like, as short as you like. You know, you might wanna stretch longer if you have more time. You might not have a lot of time. You might have to stretch a little bit faster. So from here, I like to just straighten this leg and then I like to work on my hamstring and my calves. So then I just try to bring my chest down to the floor and then you just feel that burn. Just try to relax So That's, that is another thing. If you're too tense, your muscles won't really be able to stretch. So think consciously taking deep breaths and then think about where it's really tight and just kind of think of relaxing that area of your body. So once you get that, then we go forward again, just to kind of work on your balance a little bit more. I, I go straight here. And then I'm gonna take, you can do either hand. This is a little bit easier. Um, so I just lunge back forward and now I'm really isolating uh, the quad on my knee that's down. But you can also, if you want more of a stretch or just in a different part, you can pull your opposite hand. This is gonna start isolating like the outside bands of your quads. Um, if you can go that way and then you just try to balance. If you have trouble balance, you know, feel free, put your hand on the ground. Don't, don't worry about the balance. It's not what it's designed for. It's designed to stretch. So you really wanna feel that as you go. Uh, and then when you're happy, we just go right back to the middle. From here, come here one more time. I like to rock, just that's my thing. So you guys can stay straight, but really think about pressing out when you're here. So I really wanna press out from here. And then we just do everything the same on the other side. So now other knees down. I like to make sure you're both good on one side and the other. Lunge forward, really feel that nice pull. 